it's DDK and I'm back with another video. Put me on your big screen video. Today we're gonna talk about, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a recap on 2023 on how my first year was using gig apps. You're gonna get the good, bad, the ugly. You're gonna get my five favorite apps. You're gonna get the ones that were most profitable. You're gonna get the things I would change and the things that I did great. So you're gonna get a lot of information in this video. All I'm asking for you to do is smash that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. I need these videos to start getting to 1,000 likes so I can get my pockets tight. So let's get into it. My top five most profitable gig apps using a Sprinter van in 2023. Coming in hot, baby. Number one, Dispatch. On the Dispatch app, in the beginning of the year, I was getting busy. I was doing orders at Sunrun. Well, a lot of orders at Sunrun. And for those of you who don't know what Sunrun is, Sunrun is actually a company that sells solar panels. I was out there getting busy on a Dispatch app. Number two, coming in hot again. We ain't playing no games. We're about to do our thing. Is Roadie 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 with a dab wrench. Is the Roadie app. On Roadie, you can go out there and get busy picking up those Home Depot orders, picking up uh, tractor supply orders, picking up CVS orders, picking up all type of orders in your cargo slash printer van. So go ahead and go ahead and get that uh, Roadie app. Now, number three. Number three is Freight. About to get to this money all oh, hey. Freight. We got busy on the Freight app. They have Lowe's orders. They have Menards orders. They have a lot. They have Roti orders, R-O-T-I. You pick up food. Um, they actually had some um, airport pickups too that I did a couple times. So that was pretty good. And they had my most high end paying order on one app at one time. And that was $455. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go check that out. Coming in at number four, you already know we hit a skull. And that is Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Dolly, Dolly. Go ahead and get that Dolly app. On the Dolly app, I was doing personal moves for people. I was picking up items, taking them to their house. We were doing the container store orders. We were doing a lot of different orders on the Dolly app. So if you don't have that, you may want to sign up. And last but not least, number five, we picked up a lot of prizes to drive. Now, number five is, it was it was almost a tie, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you, it was almost a tie. I, and just because of that, I'm going to give y'all both apps, but I really don't want to, but I am anyway. Number five was Curry, 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 Curry. And coming in at a very, very, very close number six was Delivered. D-L-I-B-R-D-B, about to pull up right now so we can get this cheese delivered app. Number six was Delivered. It was off by like $14, that's it. And to me personally, honestly, the deliver orders are way easier than the curry orders, so I don't got no complaining to do. If I had a choice to pick the two between the two, I'm definitely going with the deliver orders over the curry orders because you don't have to carry heavy items. You're going to do some catering orders, and that's super sweet. You're going to pick up the uh, the food and then drop it off. That's it. That's all. It's time for us to, uh, to ball. Well, now that you gave him your list of the top five, what is the worst pain one for cargo vans? Now, this is my personal opinion. I don't want no problems with nobody, baby, and this may vary per area so if your area is different in my area you might be getting more money for this certain app but i don't know let me tell you guys this the one i think that pays the lowest and i think that it's it's kind of an issue with that app is bungee b-u-n-g-i-i -I. i'm sorry Bungie, i gotta put you on blast right now the reason why i think that they have this problem with the lowest paying orders is because it's like the the app does not compensate for the weight it doesn't compensate for the weight so you can pick up this this right here you can go pick up this right here right and drive it three miles and get $43. And then you can go pick up 2,000 pounds worth of stuff and drive three miles and get the same $43. And you have to unload it. So I think they need to fix that. Other than that, that's I think that's the worst app. And unfortunately it is. I did make some money on the Bungie app, but it is what it is, baby. Hey, I'm here to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Um, okay, so since we switched from the car to the um, Sprinter van in, for 2023, literally, the, pretty much the whole year, um, what do you think that you should have done differently that you didn't, that we didn't do? Is there something that, that we should have done sooner and we waited too long or things that probably would have made the year better than what it was? Multiple things. You know, I tweak all the time. I'm not perfect. I mess up stuff all the time. First off, I should have had all the apps switched be right when we got the cargo man, switch them right away. But to my defense, hey, 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 get up off me, get up off me. To my defense, it was January 1st. So January 1st, people started on kick in and going back to work and everything until probably like January 3rd to the 4th or the 5th, depending on what day it was when it was January 1st last year. So I should have switched the app sooner. Um, this is a, 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 a good, you know, segment right here, right? Let me say this. 
Should I have got the car, the, the, the commercial insurance sooner? Personally, I do believe that we kind of waited a little bit too long. We did, we got it like on the ninth month. We got it like in September or something like that. So we ain't had it for that, that long, like three or four months. We should have got it probably, me personally, I think that we should got it like around in the, like the middle of May to the beginning of June. That's what I'm thinking. Like around the sixth month mark. What you think about that? I think June, June, July would have been okay. Yeah. Maybe like right before 4th of July. Yeah, and I think that because we was getting busy on the Sun One orders, we was going crazy with the Sun One orders, and if we would have had the the carrier companies, like multiple carrier companies, right after that, we could have really went crazy. But I didn't seize the moment. I made adjustments too. That's another thing I messed up on. I made adjustments too slowly. Um, when we was getting busy with the dispatch and the Sun One orders, we was going crazy, going crazy, going crazy. I made adjustments too late because it had already switched over to us not getting any orders anymore. So while we was getting busy and going crazy, I should have like implemented more stuff at the same time. Like I should have added on to it right at the time. But I do want to say this. One of the things that I think we did greatly was we didn't start off coming in hot with the carrier company and getting the commercial insurance. Honestly, in my personal opinion, this is my personal opinion, my personal opinion only, my personal opinion only. Using the gig apps does help you better understand the whole industry in general. Like it's like a smaller version of going to a carry company or getting your own authority. It kind of builds you up and kind of gives you an idea of how things are going to be. So I'm glad that we did start off with the gig apps. I do think that we should have added the commercial insurance and the carrier companies and not just one carrier company, multiple carrier companies by like around the six month mark. I think that's where I messed up at. I think that personally, I think that we should have had business cards ready and handed them out sooner. Oh, I, I, I forgot about that. Absolutely. I tweaked on that. I was unprepared a lot of times. I, I, I was playing chess and not checkers. I'm playing checkers now. I mean, I'm playing chess now, not checkers. I was playing checkers, not chess. So I got I to uh, blame myself for that. I definitely should have had the business cards out. I definitely should have been giving them to everybody that uh, we run into, but I did not do that. And I absolutely made a mistake on that. Okay, so overall... Um, do you think that getting the van was profitable? And if you had to start over, would you still have upgraded and gotten the van? That is an excellent question. Honestly, me personally, I don't like we didn't make buku money yet. We didn't make buku money. We ain't go super crazy. We are in the green. I think that we were profitable, but I don't think we made as much money as we we're gonna make in the end. Like, like this is just the beginning. This is nothing. We're making chump change compared to what we're really gonna make. And I know some people make you could have went over the road, you could have did this, you could have did that. Hey, I'm doing what I wanna do. I don't do what nobody else tell me. I don't do what nobody tell me. I do not work for a company. I work for myself. I do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, and why I don't want to do it. Um, I do think that we made a great investment on buying a van from the car. Now, don't get me wrong. I will say, when we had Walmart Spark, we was out there getting busy. I'm talking about we, uh, we was going crazy. We had like a, you know, five or $600 days. We was getting $200 every single day. I'm talking about 200, 200, 200, 200, pretty much every day. Now, what I will say the difference between the Sprinter van and having a car was when we was on Walmart Spark, we was getting the $200 a day. I've noticed that when since we had the Sprinter van that things seem to slow down a lot more on the weekends with the Sprinter van. I don't know why. It's just something that's going on. Comment below and let me know how it's going in your area. But on the weekends, it seemed like things slow down. We get an order here and there. And um, that's really what I feel about having a car versus having a cargo van. So you wish it was all seven days? Absolutely. I, me, personally, I want to work every single day. I don't want no days off. I want zero days off. You guys don't know this, but I do get up very, very early in the morning. What time do you think I get up? Comment below and let me know. I get up at 1.45 in the morning to go out there and get busy. I have to have everything situated. If I don't get up at the proper time, and I go to sleep super early, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I know y'all know y'all we want people to stay up and all that stuff. I'll be trying to go out there and be ready for the next day so I can go out there and get that Monday. And I know that the roadie orders are, are gonna drop around 520-ish. So I get up at 145, do my exercise, get in the sauna, do crossword puzzles. I do by time, see that's why y'all be wondering why we be going in the house so early. It's because guess what? I already been up. If I wake up at 145, at 145 p.m., it's gonna be 12 hours. I've been out. So y'all got to think about that. Yes, there is more orders later on in the day, but I'd rather get up early, get my stuff done, and get go out there and get busy. But I really have been having issues as of lately. Well, no, even in the 2023, we was getting busy on dispatch, 
Then everything slowed down. It kind of stopped. So we was getting up early on that. Going out there, getting busy, going to summer, being there like at 6, 6.05, 6 6.30, sometimes 5.30, depending on what time we got to be there. Later on in the year, we actually was getting busy on a roadie app. We have go to the um, Home Depot orders. Go go do a Home Depot order. But as of lately, like some days we get the Home Depot orders and some days we don't get them. So it's like sometimes I do feel like that I'd be kind of bothered about nothing going on. Like what what's, what's going on? I just got to sit in the house now because I can't go out. It's too early. It's 5.20 in the morning. 5 in the morning. It's way too early to be out. There's nothing going to be open. Nobody's going to be uh, sending out any orders. So what do I do now? So it's a gift and a curse with the waking up early, going out there to get busy. Um, I was just thinking about the top five most profitable apps, and we didn't consider drop off. So it was a <laughs> dedicated route, and we were doing it with the car first, but we did switch it over and use the van after we got the van because we were already out. But do you think? How much do you think? I mean, do you think that where would that have fallen in the top five? That's a we got a great point on that. I'm gonna say you guys this. Look. I'm just gonna tell you the honest truth. First time I'm gonna start off by saying we no longer do our drop off route. I'm gonna get into the story. Hey, hey, simmer down, simmer down. We ain't done drop off in about three months, since it's like September or something like that. But drop off low key would be number two. So it will be dispatch, then it will be drop off, then I will go roadie, then it will be freight, then it will be. Dolly, I think was my. Oh, Dolly! Yeah, it'd be Dolly. Then it'd be Curry. Then it'd be delivered after that. So that's how it would go. Now, the reason why we stopped doing the drop-off route is because let's just be honest, man. I ain't like it. I'm just, <laughs> look, look, look. I'm gonna just tell y'all straight up true. I did not like it. We had it every single Tuesday. Now we made two hundred dollars every single Tuesday, guaranteed, because we had to do our drop-off route. But there was multiple issues with the drop-off route that I didn't like. Number one. We came to pick up the route too late. It was like around 10 o'clock we had to go. If we could have got that joint at five or four or five in the morning, oh yeah, we would do that every morning, no problem. But we had to go there at 10 o'clock, so, and it, it was far out there too. It wasn't like it was down the street. We had to drive like an hour and 10 minutes to Chicago, hour and 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the traffic, and at 10 o'clock, so it's gonna be more traffic, the nine o'clock traffic and all that stuff. Go out there, get the order, then do the order, and then like, Later on, after a while, they started switching around a little bit. Now they got to jump us over here, here, here. We're going back and forth, back and forth. Even though we had everything optimized, they had to jump it all the way here and here and here. Then end up at the last, like the very last moments, like the last maybe like 10 or 10 routes we did, they started sending us. Now we driving 95 miles for $200. Now, granted, it is towards home, but I'd rather be in the city. Do my joint and then go straight to the crib. Now I gotta do this, boom, 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 boom. Then go over here, drop this one off, then go home over here. I don't know. I did not like it. It was cool. It was guaranteed money. It was taking too long for me, man. I'm sorry. It was taking five hours. We had like some weeks. We it was, it was cool. We had 25 orders, you know, 26 orders. Then they started jumping that up to 35, 37. Like y'all starting to do too much now. Simmer down now. And y'all gotta jump on boom, 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 jump it all the way over here. Hey, y'all gotta simmer down with that. So. Drop off was cool, everything went well, but I really did not like it that much. That's just my honest opinion. What about you? I didn't think it was that bad, and I think that you're over here, over here is a slight exaggeration. Man, that joint was jumping. Look, <laughs> it look, was not that. That it joint was, was jumping. That was crisscross not. that was jumping, crisscross and jumping. We jumping, boom, boom, boom. So we do like a little grab, then we gotta do them. Then like the last one, you gotta go all the way up. Like man, look. It was all the way up towards home though. But you, the thing is, we went from we went from doing for like thirty miles, to like ninety five miles though. Well, it well you're talking thirty miles of just the deliveries because we already were driving all the way there. That, no, I'm you're talking not about that miles. I'm talking about I'm talking about the the route. How much was the route? Mm -hmm. How many miles was the route like on average? Well, it, the route got a little bit worse after you told them that you wanted to switch route numbers. Now the reason why not not no oh see 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 not trying to get up. Hold on, simmer down. I did definitely tell them I wanted to switch the route numbers because my guy Jordan. I don't know if you're watching the channel right now. My guy Jordan, he had this route and then he stopped doing the route. The route was going towards home now. The route was going towards home and you go in like the better areas, you're not in the city as much. And let me just say this, to my defense, I only did this because the first time when we did it, it was sweet. We got done with the route in like two hours. It was super sweet. That's the reason why I said switch me. So after I switched, after we did it for that one time, because he went there for one time. So I'm like, boom, he's like, they like, we got another route for you. Try this route out. Man, that joint was sweet. Two hours, we at home, nothing. We 
uh, 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 getting busy. So I'm like, okay, that's a sweet route. He leave. I'm like, let me get that joint in. Look, it went down. <laughs> it went down here from there. It was critical after that. So, hey, that wasn't my fault. I thought I was doing something smooth, but I wasn't. So that's what happened with that. Well, I know this doesn't necessarily have to do with the cargo van, but it is still about your year. And um, the YouTube channel changed a lot once you got the cargo van. Um, so what what do you think that you could have done differently for YouTube to make it better than what it was? And what would you say to people who are thinking about starting their own YouTube channel? Um, just maybe like a quick couple of tips. First thing I want to say is once we went from the car to the cargo van, honestly, this is my honest opinion, the views went down much more. They went down much more because I feel like that some people thought it wasn't relatable to them anymore. Even though I don't understand why you wouldn't continue watching the channel because it's showing growth from going to a car, well, going to a SUV, a personal vehicle, to getting the car, then get doing the car, getting kicked off apps, getting on and off apps, they kicking us off apps and all that stuff. It's showing, you know, Persistence is showing everything. Drive is showing everything that you need to go um, about this business or doing gig apps in general. So we went from the car to the cargo van. The views went down. Um, I will say I do understand why some people stick to their niche because they know that they're going to get a certain amount of views. And a lot of times, you want me to tell you something? People really don't like change. They don't like change. They want you to be the same. They don't want you to change. They don't want you to grow. They don't want you to do anything. They want you to continue to do the same thing over and over and over and over. And to be honest with you guys about the YouTube, I can't, I get bored fast. I get bored. I ain't, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Look, I get bored. I get bored of doing stuff. I don't want to do it. And I also am very big on elevating and going to the next level. So in order for me to grow, I have to. I had to make that move to go grab the uh, Sprinter Man. I had to. It was only right to me. Especially since we got kicked off of Spark. When, I, we, was, when we had Spark, we was getting busy with that. But that's only going to last so long. And... With the views and everything, it's gonna be good and it's gonna be bad. It's like y'all already be y'all y'all low key be halfway rocking with me, halfway not rocking with me. I don't be knowing what be going on. Some of y'all, I need y'all to start liking these videos. I'm getting average probably I would say four thousand views. Let me just say that, and I'm only getting three hundred likes. Like why y'all not liking the video? Y'all, I'm trying to push up on YouTube algorithm so we get that hundred thousand. So if you guys decide that you want to. Start a YouTube channel. I'm going to give you guys some good advice now. This, this is what I'm going to tell you. Number one, this is the number one thing of all things when you start a YouTube channel. I don't care what you're doing. Is you're going to have to stay consistent. Stay consistent. One more time. Stay consistent. If you do not stay consistent, it's not going to work. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you've seen. I don't care what you think. If you are not consistent, it is not going to work. Now, after you are consistent for so long, you can, you know, try different things with the channel. You need to stay consistent for a long time. And then, number two, whatever you stay consistent on, whatever you stay consistent on, you need to have your own niche. Like, you have to have a niche. You cannot jump videos from this video to this video. You're doing your hair one day. You're getting the hair come one day. You're a barber one day. The next day, you're doing gig apps. The next day, you're gaming. The next day, you're driving around in the, in the vet. The next day, you got to stick to one thing. If you not stick to one thing, the, the consumer does not know where to go to get what they need to get. I'm known for gig apps, so they're going to come to the channel for gig apps. They're not going to come here to see me gaming. Believe me, you me. I do want a game. I do want to add some gaming and all that stuff to it. But it is what it is. This is a business. This is not no, uh, no, 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 um, no, do whatever you want to do. Now, unless you're going to do vlogs. Now, I'm going to tell you guys about the vlogs. With the vlogs, it's going to be the hardest channel to create. It's going to be a hard, the hardest channel to build a fan base on. Unless you are already like semi famous, like you know for something else already, and then you bring it over here to YouTube. So, that's what I'm going to say about the YouTube channel. Stay consistent, find your niche continue to do it never stop um you're gonna have some good months you're gonna have some terrible months you're gonna have some fans you're gonna have some porters if you want to know what the difference between a fan and supporter is go to type in mr organic and type in fan versus supporter or something like that he's gonna tell you what it is because it got some cuss words in it and i just want y'all to know that's how i really feel in real life too what he's saying because you know fans they only blow you while you hot and supporter gonna support you through it all yeah because a fan like i always tell people a fan only blows you when you're hot just like mm -hmm. a real fan and a fan to me stands for fake ass nigga they only rock with you because of what they like in you for them mm -hmm. a supporter supports you for don't who forget you fanatic are. sorry for cussing <laughs> if you could share one priceless piece of information with anyone out there who is looking to get started in gig apps or to elevate from cars from a car gig app to cargo van gig app what would it be that is an extraordinary question that was that was a good one that was a good one research 
Research, research, research. You need to do a lot, extensive research. You need to be always researching. Just because you got, that's what I told you guys earlier. I was doing a dispatch, I was doing a sun run, but I made adjustments too slowly. I, I should have did it way before. I should have got everything situated before. You are going to continue to have to do research forever. Because you might have a carrier company, it might be going good right now, or you might have your own authority, it might be going good right now. But what's going to happen in the long haul? You need to still do research. Do your homework in my Jamie voice. Do your homework on doing research on a cargo van and do it different. And do it different if you don't, if you don't do your homework. I don't know what to tell you. You have to do research. You have to always research. You have to always be thinking about different ways to make money, trying to figure out different ways to get in contact with direct shippers or people who need stuff moved. You always need to continue to do your homework, do your research on how it hit different when you do your research. Do your research on that, baby. Do your homework on that. Okay, and then before we end out the video now for 2023, what are... Give us two goals that you have for 2024, at least two goals. Um, one that involves the cargo van and where you want it to go, and one that involves how you want YouTube to go. I'm starting off for YouTube. Make sure y'all smash that like button. We need 100,000 subscribers. My goal is February 17, 2024, which is in like 46 days or something like that, right around there. 46, 47 days. We need to get to that 100,000 subscriber mark. I need that plaque. I've been working too hard for me to get this plaque, and I need to get this plaque, and I need y'all help to get the plaque. So I need you guys to start smashing the subscribe button, liking the video, sharing the video with your friends, and commenting below so I can go out there uh, and scroll. I've done the work. What are y'all doing? I don't understand. Like I don't understand why y'all be smashing the like button and smashing the subscribe button and all that stuff. I really do not get it. I'm giving you guys free game. I should be charging y'all for this. Low key, I really should. I could be charged off for this, but I'm giving this to y'all for free because I'm trying to help as many people, as many as people as possible. But y'all ain't even hitting the like button. So I'd appreciate it if you guys would hit the like button and smash the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Now, as far as the cargo van, the Sprinter van, personally, I do not want to have to deal with relying on gig apps and relying on carrier companies. I want to create my own stuff. I still have not came up with exactly what it's going to be. I did talk to my business partner and I just watched my guy Big TJ channel the other day and he said that he loved picking up stuff from the store. Remember I told you that I literally, before I watched that video, I had told my business partner that I love just going to pick up stuff from the store and just drop <laughs> My fault the camera died, baby. That joint got too hot because I'm trying to get y'all this game. See, that's what I'm talking about. This type of stuff I got to deal with. This type of stuff I got to deal with to create these videos for you guys. All I'm doing is ask, ask you guys to smash that like button. Now, back to what I was saying. Before I watched my guy Big CJ channel, I literally just had told my business partner earlier that day, that's the most sweetest thing to me. Like going to Home Depot, going to Menards, going to these different places, picking up stuff, dropping it up to somebody else. That's super sweet. I like it better than moving furniture. I like it better than all that stuff. All I got to do is go to the store, get the items, take it to somebody's house, and it's super sweet, and you can get paid and pull up a new Escalade. So that's I kind of like that a lot, but... I do not want to rely on gig apps and all that stuff because it's not consistent enough. You don't make enough money, in my personal opinion. And if you create your own rapport with people, you can charge way more than you are getting paid from the gig apps. But even with that, I still want to do something kind of different than that. I want to do this gig apps on the side, carry company on the side, but create our own thing. We have thought about some different things. I'm not going to tell you guys what we're talking about, but hey, just know. <laughs> just know. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do. That's what we're doing. So, my goal is to create our own business using a Sprinter van, Sprinter slash cargo van. Create it around a Sprinter van and still be able to give you guys YouTube videos. That's another thing. I'm low-key another thing. Let me say this before we go. I'm sacrificing not making as much money as I could because I'm creating content for you guys. So, I'm just, that's all I'm asking y'all to do. Like the video, share, and smash subscribe. And that's it. It's simple. It costs zero, zero dollars. But... All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have an extraordinary 2024. Because y'all already know we come to do. We come to uh, go and get it popped like Chris go. Make sure you lock in tomorrow. It's going back down. Because we ain't playing around. Because 2024, y'all already know we're going to keep on getting this dope. And go. Let's go. I will see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it. DDK. And I'm on my way.